All right, yet another teardown vid. This is a wash trainer. Some people call it like a balancing uh, valve circuit setter would allow only so much water to pass. This is on the leaving side of a unit, I believe. It only allows so much water to pass through so you can kind of calculate the uh, GPM usage and help sizing pumps and boring shit like that. But what I'm interested in is this is a huge piece of uh, brass and I think I can get all the BS off of it to where I can get good red brass for it. So let's scrap it. See, this is a and this is the wash strainer bit. The water passes through. You can see in there. A, where's the fucking camera? You can see in there, there's a screen. The water goes in through there and it traps stuff. And you can flush it out right here with this little doodad. Let's actually take that handle off first. Okay. Good. Quito mas, poquito mas, senores. This handle is gonna be garbage, I believe. Oh, hey, piece number one fell out. You got a spot for that. You got a spot for that. Let's see if on here. Get this hose cinched up. All right, it's about a half inch. Hold her head up. Hold her head up. Get this handle off. Flow Design Inc. That's some fancy company. You know what that probably means? That probably means they charge you about, I don't know, 600 bucks for this doodad here. Ain't gonna scrap for that much, know that. Okay, let's take apart this wash strainer bit. Again, there's gonna be a little uh, screen in there, like a barrel screen. That came off easy, boys. It's a good day today. Got me a blue shirt on. Need my, must be a good day. All right, let's see here. And, uh, come on, bitch. Well, here's this part. Let's, uh, I guess we can grab a long flatty. There we go, here's a good one. Pull this pinch of gasket off. I should probably wash my mouth more on this shit, but that's how we talk, boys. Wife and kids ain't here, so here's this little part of the cap of the wash strainer, a good little bit. Red brass. You gotta get that pink screen out of there somehow. Oh, hold her head up. Is there some mechanism? Oh, there's a fucking pipe in there. This has been sitting in a barrel for a bit, and I guess. Oh, no wonder. No wonder. Well, how am I going to get <laughs> Oh, shit. I wonder if I'll be able to see that. There's a fucking one inch piece of copper in there. It's some cutting jammed in there, and it's pinching me screen. Oh, terrific. All right, let me pause. Think I'm going to get this shit out. Alright, back at it again. Yeah, a little piece of one inch in there. Uh, one inch number one. In a bucket now. Okay, here's that screen, as promised. Weren't lying to you. It was being held back there. So here's the body. Let's see if we can get this fucking cobra off. Pinchy, pinchy cobra. I might be able to. Man, these doodads here don't like to come unscrewed. I might be able to uh, pull off unbolting, un unscrewing this hoe. Let's really crank down on this bitch. Urgh. Okay. Is this hoe going to come off? Or is it going to be stubborn? Uh, let's use gravity to be to our advantage here. Dumbass. Okay. Come on, boys. No. Got her. Okay. Got her. Well, let's go ahead and cut this number one off before we get too crazy. Back in the bin. Oh, you cut. Yeah, see, these ones don't like to be taken apart, man. It's not their bag. 
I guess I'm going to go ahead and take the ball out. Uh, what is this? There's some white shit in there. I'm just going to put that in my dirty brass barrel. Okay, let's see about getting this ball out. Okay, so see, there's the ball inside a ball valve. Let me grab a crystal. Pinchy crystal. Turn this jabron. I think it'll come off on that side. Yep. So there is the ball for the ball valve. That's a good hunk. That's a good heavy. You wouldn't want somebody to chunk that at your head. It is red brass, as you can see by the where the chrome finish is faded. But it's a uh, so much chrome, it's still chrome brass. But pull this O-ring off and the rest of this doohickey. That's a good five pounder. I like it. Alright, let me know what you think.